Big cities like Chennai, Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, etc., have more than a million people living and working here. Modes of earning a living in urban areas is different from those in rural areas. People work in shops, offices, factories, or start their own businesses. The terms and conditions and income vary accordingly. In this chapter, we will study working on the street. In cities, a large number of people work on the streets. They sometimes sell things or repair them or provide a service. They are not employed by anyone and therefore have to organize their own work. Their shops are usually temporary structures, sometimes just some boards or paper spread over discarded boxes or maybe a canvas sheet hung up on a few poles. They may also use their own carts or simply a plastic sheet spread on the pavement. Vendors sell things that are often prepared at home by their families who purchase, clean, sort and make them ready to sell. They have no security. Working on the street Street vending was hitherto looked upon only as an obstruction to traffic and to people walking. However, due to the efforts of many organizations, it is now recognized as a general benefit and as a right of people to earn their livelihood. Thus, even the government is thinking about modifying the law that bans street vendors so that they have a place to work and that there is also a free flow of traffic and people. In the market In cities, there are many people who own shops in various markets of the city. These shops, may be small or large, sell different things. Most business persons manage their own shops or business and employ a number of workers as supervisors and helpers. These are permanent shops that are given a license to do business by the municipal corporation. In the factory or workshop area Most factory workers are employed on casual basis that is they are required to come as and when the employer needs them. They are employed when the employer gets large orders or during certain seasons. At other times of the year, they have to find some other work. Such jobs are not permanent. If workers complain about their pay or working conditions, they are asked to leave. Thus, there is no job security or protection if there is ill treatment. They are also expected to work very long hours. For example, in the cloth mill units, the workers work on day and night shifts with each shift lasting 12 hours. In the office area, there are many workers in the city who work in offices, factories and government departments where they are employed as regular and permanent workers. They attend the same office or factory regularly. Their work is clearly identified. They get a regular salary. Unlike casual workers, they are not asked to leave if the factory does not have much work. Being a permanent worker, they also get other benefits such as savings for old age, off on Sundays and national holidays and medical facilities for her and her family.